Well, hello guys, Hyperion here back with another video. This one's pretty cool. I have actually soloed the hardest boss in the game. I know, right? Coming from the guy who plays like this. It's honestly surprising that I pulled this off, but I pulled a cheeky on this too. I used a rogue. I always wondered how Oryx would be- <laughs> I always wondered how this boss fight will go if there's just a single player in the dungeon who happens to be a rogue and then goes invisible. So there will technically be no one in the dungeon. What does he do? Does he go crazy? Does he just give up? I've heard some interesting stuff from Xenoskill who's attempted this before. I just had to give it a try. Here's how it turned out. Oryx 3 solo. Time to do it. <laughs> He's doing shield bashes on the spot. Oh my god, stack shots. <laughs> now the fun began right away. That's right, if you cloak while soloing this big hunk of metal, he doesn't even move. I mean, he still shoots, but look at how easy it is to get your damage in. Oh my god. Wait, oh, he stays on the spot. Okay. Well, it's not so easy in this phase. And then came the slashes phase. Oh my god, he's not shooting on slashes. Oh, never mind. Okay, he shoots rarely, I think. <laughs> yep, he literally stands there while you're invisible, just asking to get beat up like a piñata. Yeah. No, I knew this fight was going to be really interesting. As the fight went on, I learned how he behaves when there appears to be no one in the room. I'll do a quick rundown of the affected phases. On melts, he doesn't move, but still shoots. Not really the best phase to deal your damage. During slashes, he doesn't do anything at all, but I wouldn't advise being so close in the first place. Panic and Scream seem unaffected. He does the phase normally, but just stands there as there's no one to chase. Nowhere to run? He stands still and does nothing. This is a great damage phase. Shield Bash? He stands still but continues firing. It's still a great opportunity to do damage as you simply avoid this line of shots. And watch out for this circle. Never cross that. You may not see it, but what's happening here is he is stacking up shots on top of each other. As soon as you walk on that... Armor Crumple? He stands still. Although he still throws out bombs randomly, so keep an eye out on that. The other phases with the set pattern didn't change at all. An example is the tornado phase, he still spins and shoots. Or his cosmos phase, the meteors still spawn as usual. But hey, these phases are less scary as there isn't a giant beast with murderous intent chasing you. Through a bunch of cloaking and experimenting, I pushed him into the exalted phase. Things are a little harder now, he deals more damage and shoots more shots. What screws me up most here are the portals. They don't stop firing pet stasis and you can't ignore those shots, they add up. I learned he still goes crazy in the fleeing is futile phase, although he's just spinning in a circle. It didn't take too long to push him into the celestial phase. Ah, uh, this phase wipes out all inexperienced players. You know what? I should make a guide on this phase. Let me know if you guys need one in the comments. Anyways, once you're experienced, this phase is actually break time. There's no enemy directly closing down on you. It's just a learnable pattern and I basically danced a little bit on this wedge. And this phase comes with a big damage opportunity. After you survive all the waves, he gets knocked down and armor broken for like about 5 seconds. I did around 19,000 damage here. That's about 3% of his health chopped off for free. Fun tip, if you feel you screw up on his inner rotation phase, try get near any carpet and do a light wiggle. I did it poorly here, but there are a lot of openings to weave through to catch your breath. Another tip, if you feel you'll screw up on his outer rotation phase, hug the wall tightly. Trust me, you'll take one hit from him at most. Any other hits will probably be from the beams or the pet stasis shots. But Oryx, he's not going to do anything to you. Like, just seriously, it's... Trust me on this. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. Yeah, see, the bus is coming. Look, Stanny, don't be scared, don't be scared. See, it doesn't do anything. Oh, but the... Mmm, break time again. I did 27,000 damage this time, about 5% of his health. I told you, Celestial is a chill phase. Once you master it, it'll actually become the phase you want the most. It's your free DPS phase. The second Celestial was a gift, as it pushed him to 20% of his health. We have now reached the final phase. Beams of lightning will randomly cross around the map, on top of his usual onslaught of pellets. Hey, damage opportunity. Nope. Just, oh, hell no. HP pot, HP pot. I was flashing. I almost died there, lol. Lucky me, more free damage. Even more free damage. A strong sense of relief came when the map shook up. 
You know what that means? I won. Oh, we killed him. Yes, we did it. <laughs> we soloed our three. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Woohoo. <laughs> Yay. Cool. <laughs> so guys, if you're a noob and you suck at O3, you can solo it. Soloing O3 is the way to go. Oh yeah, boys. What do we get? Ooh, T14 dagger, T7 poison. I love that item. T15 rope, also another Pog Champ item. Pretty cool loot. Remember, if you kill this big boy, you get a guaranteed top tier weapon, ability, armor, and ring. And you also get greater life and greater mana. I got a nice bunch. As you can also see here, I did 96% of the damage. That means my pet did a solid 4% of all the damage. What a beast. So that's it. What an accomplishment. I beat the hardest boss in the game by myself. Although it was a little cheesy. Seriously, the rogue makes it so much easier. Going invisible most of the time means you either get a break to heal up or do a lot of free damage. I'm not really that good of a player, but I'll tell you this right now. This was only possible because I went invisible. Even then, the whole Oryx fight took 24 minutes. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty bad. I did it really slowly, but then again, this was definitely the most fun experience I've ever had in this game. My heart was pumping. I had to move my microphone to the left just so it doesn't mess up with my peripheral vision. I ignored the living crap out of my stream chat. I closed my window to prevent any external noise from distracting me. I made sure my parents weren't home so there'll be absolutely zero distraction. The next day. We did it! Yay! We swallowed O3 without using a cheaper rogue. <laughs> we can do it! That's cool. Yay! I guess I'm actually decent at the game. Wouldn't this be called decent at the game? Alrighty. Coolio. What do we get for loot? Oh, double red bag. I don't even know what that means. 92% damage. My pet did so much damage. Ooh, T14 Katana. I want that. That's awesome. <laughs>